Hi, my name is Barry Johnson. I work for Intest Thermal Solutions, and I'm here today to talk to you about the ATS 545 or 645 system, one of 10 different models in our range of thermo streams uh, that are available. This particular system is a minus 80 to 225C system with a flow rate of 4 to 18 SCFM. And the architecture of the system is very similar to all our other larger streams and as much that you have a in the rear of the system you get facilities air the air then gets dried through an air internal air dryer and then refrigerated and so that cold air that's generated in the refrigeration system gets down to around about minus 90 celsius that then passes up through this hose to the thermal head where the actual temperature of the, of the air that comes out of the nozzle is then regulated by an internal heater. So as far as the user interface is concerned, this is the manual operation. And you can see that you've got three temperatures defined here, a hot temperature 100 C, ambient 25, cold negative 40. The temperature currently is flowing with a flow rate of about 10 CFM at 25 C. If I want to drive the, the, the the thermostream to the high temperature I merely press the button here that says go hot and you'll see that the temperature now starts to rise towards 100 C very rapidly and if I drive it now cold to the minus 40 temperature I push the button here and it starts to go cold okay. So the user interface consists of a number of buttons along here that allow you to select options that are shown on the screen. You can change those options by the use of this uh, encoder uh, over here. And then this, this uh, knob here adjusts the flow control. So you can see here that currently I'm at 9.7 SCFM. If I wind it this way, the flow rate starts to increase. And if I go counterclockwise, or sorry, clockwise, it decreases. If we want to change one of these uh, temperatures, hot, ambient, or cold, I use the encoder over here to select, in this case, hot, or in this case, ambient, or in this case, cold temperature. Okay? So if I select the hot temperature and push the button in, now the temperature that I'm going to change is now flashing. And by use of this encoder, I can now adjust the temperature. And the faster I go, the more significant digits change. The slower I go, the lower, uh, the least significant digits change. So now I'm coming up to 150C. And when I'm there, I push the button again, and that is now the new accepted uh, temperature. Okay, so that's how the manual screen, uh, manual operator mode works. If I want to put it into cycle mode, where I can run a, 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 a different series of tests, I press the escape button. I then use the encoder to select program operation. I select it. And now I get a table of different temperatures, all with their own ramp rates, transition rates, uh, and dwell times that I can select. And then if I want to configure the system, maybe it's for some parameters for duct control, maybe it's uh, to adjust the, the IEEE address or something like that, I go down to configure system, select it, and now you'll see that I've got the IEEE 488 address bus, uh, the board rate, etc., etc. So lots of different parameters that the user can define at the time of use. 